As the India Today group went about trying to put this event together, lots of the guests agreed to come very quickly, but there's one guest we really had to persuade very hard uh, to come here and join us. His name is Dr. Pranav Pandya. He's the president of the Swami Vivekanand Yog Vidya Mahapitam. He's the head of the worldwide Gayatri Parivar. He's the chancellor of the Dev Sanskriti Vishwavidyalaya and the director of the Brahmachas Research Institute. Taken together, they have about 9 crore followers across the country, making them the biggest, if not definitely one of the biggest, if not the biggest uh, group of yoga practitioners in the world. No one has deeper influence across the country and across the world when it comes to yoga than Dr. Pranav Pandya. He's a doctor of medicine. He was going to the United States to practice. That's when he came in touch with his guru and gave up regular medicine to become a yogi. And I want to use the next half an hour to talk about the impact that different asanas have on your body and how they help your health. Not just from a fitness perspective, but taking it far deeper, looking at the medical advantages of different asanas. And that's not something that a lot of people spend a lot of time on, but that's something that Dr. Pranav Pandya will be talking about. So can we have a very warm round of applause as we invite upon stage Dr. Pranav Pandya. Thank you very much sir for joining us and it's an honor and a delight to have you with us. And as we were discussing earlier, we want to spend this time talking about the medical benefits of doing yoga. Yoga recently has most commonly become a form of keeping fit, staying healthy, keeping your body flexible. So the real meaning of yoga is actually party. So why don't you just broadly begin by identifying what you think are the clear medical benefits of doing yoga. See, being a medical man, I can say that uh, earlier it was being thought that the yoga is preventive. If you keep on doing yoga, you won't get this disease, you won't get this disease. But now uh, it has been proved that the yoga is good. Yoga can cure a lot of things. There are so many problems today because of the lifestyle which has changed, because of the globalization, consumeristic culture. Because of the way people are living today, because of the way people are eating today, I, I think the uh, yoga can cure many problems like obesity, like uh, stomach heart disease, like bronchial asthma, like many things it can cure. Okay. And what we also want, uh, Dr. Pandya, is for you to uh, tell us about specific asanas and the specific health benefits of all these asanas. You've got one volunteer from the organization here. Uh, can we call for a yoga mat please? So sir will take us through the different asanas that all of you do very commonly. But what's important is that he from a qualified medical perspective will tell you about the health benefits of those asanas. So, sir has had a back surgery recently so he can't do asanas just yet himself. But you gotta get a volunteer to do it and sir will take us through. So, so which one? All the asanas. Which one according to you is the one with the greatest medical advantage? Uh, I won't say one actually, there are so many and uh, the one is the, the modified version of the spirit which I would like my volunteer to do it. That is uh, the Satya Abhihan Ka Yogvyaya. Yogvyaya. And this is just like an exercise and it can be done uh, very specifically uh, without any super bending, super flexing, but a uh, lot of effects on the various body organs. Yoga is something which is done with the relation to the body physiology and with the various our uh, internal organs like uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic systems, which enhance the secretion of the various hormones. If it is done with that purpose, then only the perfect. So you are saying the yoga that Baba Ramdev preaches and practices doesn't help achieve uh, that end object? Uh, I will say that uh, he has been able to uh, show many things which, which were known to people earlier but he has uh, 
not than scientific i will say not not than that okay so how is your form of the surya namaskar different from what everybody has pragya dhyan ka yoga hai there are 16 phases and there are 12 phases in the surya namaskar we start with the namaskar first and then uthit padasan this is the initially he did ushtrasan that is the tadasan ushtrasan now it is hast hast padasan which is the then he will bend and this is this is vajrasan this is the one vajrasan aap isme rahiye this is the one vajrasan is the one which if it is done for 10 minutes after meals your whole meal will be digested this is vajrasan and this vajrasan is very effective actually it it enhances the uh, perineal muscles and uh, the strength of the perineal muscles and the perineal blood circulation you know in the whole body the perineum means the rectum and the urethra and the our uh, genital organs this this area is the most vascularized area most vascular is the biggest blood supply to the whole body is the in that region if you can circulate if you can maintain that circulation properly you will never get any illness related to that area for example pelvic inflammatory disorder for example sanin enlargement of prostate prostatic cancers uh, urinary infection urinary infection cervicitis all these infections you will not you will never get it if you do it properly then the digestion digestion is the biggest advantage if you do it regularly and uh, regularly means for 10 minutes means 10 minutes doesn't mean that you just stretch your leg and then start seeing the tv just do it like this what i want then after the uh, vatrasan we'll do another asan and this asan is this this is ushtrasan this is ushtrasan ushtra ushtra means uh, uh, camel camel just like camel then you bring your hand up the shambhavi mudra next this is uh, he is sitting so now the same thing padhastasan is doing up this is ardh ardh tadasan this is shashank asan shashank asan shashank means rabbit it is just like rabbit being doing 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 like rabbit is something very very specific because this thing enhances the secretion of the whole stomach whole chest and the even in the face also the circulation improves and i think for heart patients it is perfectly fine it they can do it and this this particular exercise if you can re, again do it shall uh, i a fir se ek baar karke dikha dijiye shashank asan se this is just like one posture of the surya namaskar you have four extra asans you added to the surya namaskar ah yes one. this this way now he will do it just like surya namaskar like this now left straight then right this uh, removes all problems of the cervical spondylitis all this 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 is and then straight seeing what is coming back actually everything has to be repeated again shashank asan repeat then again hasta padasan then another specific asan is utkatasan this is difficult asan uh, i know that all the 16 postures are very good but this utkatasan is a difficult bit difficult but after this we just do you stand stand up and you regain your energy you draw your energy like from cosmos and you now this is how we do it and it happens hardly in five five days so you can do it every day you so can what's do the five. number of repetitions that you suggest i suggest 5 to 10 every day in the morning and if we do it uh, facing sun this is very good if we don't do it facing sun wherever you are you can do it and i think this will ma- maintain your equilibrium inner equilibrium and inner engineering basically it does, it does the inner engineering it starts maintaining your inner structure proper it's interesting you speak of inner engineering and that's what uh, satguru vasudev also spoke of when he came in the morning now there are a couple of points that were raised by different people the first uh, dealt with body ache and joint pains and stuff so what if people have some kind of any ache whether it's a back ache then uh, which are the kind of asanas you think dr pandit they can perform 
which will not impact their health and actually make things better for them. For the joint pain? There is a back, let's, let's start with back pain. Just, just like me, what I have. You see, there are many asanas, many, many postures. Whosoever is feeling inconvenient, you can just sit in the normal posture. And now you can sit in the normal posture. Up inconvenient feel kar to bed jaye niche. Uh, what I was saying uh, is that the, uh, there are many things in which the spine is curved. When the spine is curved, you must be very sure that your spine doesn't have any disc problems. Or you should not have any low backache or middle backache, any cervical problems, any problems related with your body, which is the uh, doctor has refused you. But don't do those things which have been refused, which, you, which should not which be done by you. For cardiac uh, patients, I would advise that on the pressure on the heart, wherever there is a pressure on the heart, they should not do those those postures. Those postures are very difficult postures to be done. So I say I think they should be avoided. Okay, so you're talking about what should be avoided, what should be done. How do you make a backache less acute, and what are the kind of asanas that you believe Dr. Pandya can be done if you were a backache? Uh, less acute is the uh, relaxation exercises like shavasana. Like uh, sitting in the postures, I'll just, I can just show, show few exercises like, uh, uh, can I do it? Of course, of course. Uh, you see, I, I just lie down simply. Simply lie down, stretch your both legs and then lie down like this. Raise your left leg, raise your right leg, left leg, right leg ten times. Then raise it and bring it up to this point raise it and bring it up to this point raise it and bring it up to this point raise it and bring it up to this point don't bring it up to the down floor this will create a pressure over here and this you have to do 10 times then what you can do is like this like this like this now what you can do is Next step, for those who can do minimal. See this side and do it on left side. See this side and do it on this side. Like this you can do 10 times. Now intensive of this. Like this. Like this. This you can do 10 times. What you can do is plank. Plank is one of the very good exercise which can be done by all of you. And plank will be very good for your heart. I will just be able to show you facing you. I won't be able to speak. While doing plank, you can just go up like this, Bhujangasana. Like Bhujangasana, you can go up, seat left side, seat right side. This particular exercise which I have showed you, I am doing it every day. Half and half. And you can all do it. I was operated in 2012 because of the one of the accident which damaged my two vertebra. So I had to pass through. But, but I believe at the age of 65 when I can do it, you can also do it. All of you can do it. You can prevent future complications. Secondly, you can keep on doing it all the time, every time, and any anywhere, even in the hills, even on the lawn, anywhere you can do it. Is there any problem in doing all this, whatever I showed you? Can you repeat one cycle? Repeat. Raise your leg, left, right, raise, left, right. Now raise it half. Keep it there, keep it there. Bring right one. Don't, don't put it all down on the earth. Uh, bring the right one. 
gradually, gradually. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And then you can do both the both the legs. You can do it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, anyone who knows about Sarvangasana about here? Sarvangasana? But you can stop it. You can do it? Just show it to me. You know, people might know the Sarvangasana, but why don't you, uh, for a moment, take us through the medical advantages of actually doing Sarvangasana? Sarvangasana is the uh, one asana which uh, presses the thyroid. And thyroid muscles, the thyroid muscles are strengthened, the mucosa and everything is very much vascularized. I think every day doing Sarvangasana raises your height to normal level. It brings, keeps your thyroid normal, it keeps your metabolism normal and uh, heart rate normal, your know, heart rate will be always normal. And uh, there will be no cardiac problem. So it's been great having you with us here at Body Rocks. Thank you so much by having made the effort of coming down especially from uh, Alwar and participating here. We really, really appreciate Thank you so much. Can we have a warm round of applause for Dr. Sandhya? Thank you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. And let me introduce you to our next session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ram. Our next session this evening, should yoga now be made mandatory?